Hi friends, welcome to Enlightened World Network. Dr. Ruth Anderson here with a meditation a day. Today, our beautiful guest meditator is Carol Ann Cross. We so adore Carol Ann here at Enlightened World, and we're so glad she's going to be sharing a meditation with you today. Carol Ann, thank you for being here. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning in Australia, so good morning, evening, whatever the time is in your country. And I'm delighted to be here with you, Ruth, and with Enlightened World Network. I love being with you all. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, absolutely. So I will get out of your way, Carolyn, and let you go ahead and start. Okay, that's fine. So today we're going to be doing a meditation in which we tune into our intuitive power so that we can experience with all of our senses the realm of divine and the spirit. So I want you just to start to breathe slowly, deeply and calmly. Observe and feel each breath as it enters and leaves your body. Relaxing your body, feeling comfortable, whether you're lying down or sitting in a chair. Just relax your body and breathe gently. Let's call in our team now to support us as we travel and journey through this meditation. We'll call in our spirit guides and teachers, the angels and archangels, all of the elementals, including the fairies and the dragons. We are blessed to have this team supporting us each and every day. And as you relax, I want you to tune in to your intuitive power, to your ability to perceive, to know, and to experience with all of your senses the realm beyond the physical, the realm of the divine and spirit. Breathe deeply right down into your lower abdomen, letting it fill with the light of the divine, the light of all that is around you. Breathe in and as you exhale, let go of any tension, worry or stress, any energy that is not yours. Breathe in the divine light that is all around you. And as you breathe out, feel yourself relaxing deeply. You're entering fully into this present space and time. Becoming aware and becoming present in the now. Continue to focus on your breath, breathing deeply through your nose, down into your lower abdomen, filling yourself up with the light of the divine. Breathe in. And as you exhale, Tune into your energetic field. It is diffused with divine light. Imagine your energy field. It is shaped like an hourglass. You are drawing in the light of the divine intuitive guidance, 
infinite wisdom, well-being, healing, love. It flows down into your being. From above. Your energetic form is strong, stable and present. And your core of energy is filled with light, helping you to increase your awareness, to be fully present at this time. It flows in and then it flows out and down, grounding you to Mother Earth. The light is flowing down to the core of Mother Earth and you are able to feel a oneness, the divine and with all that is. You are creating a communication channel between you and Gaia. You are now ready to invite Gaia, the Earth Mother, into your heart. Take a moment and feel her love, her love for you and for all of mankind. Feel her heartbeat. Using strong red on her and within you. Feel that energy flowing out to all those that you love. And people to all to life on earth. You are now doing what we were designed for and meant to do on this planet. You are radiating an expression of love. The energetic column between you and Mother Gaia will allow you to give and receive love, as well as communicating with Gaia. And this loving communication will rejuvenate and recharge your soul. It will make you and Gaia stronger. For the cycle of desire has been replaced with the cycle of love. The positive energy created by choosing love, joy and well-being is also shared with others so that you both receive and send love and you receive and send peace. Incredible love and light are here now. So open your heart and feel this connection. 
This connection gives you the confidence to manifest abundance and to visualize your goals. So let's just take a moment to communicate Feel her love. I want you now to tap into a global consciousness and visualize the earth, the oceans and the forest. Cosmic thinking is an awareness of how you can change the universe. We don't just coexist in the world. It's all around us. And when we have an awareness of how we can live within this universe, it begins to develop a high level of awareness. It is a journey of self-healing and transformation. Tune into the vibration of the whales singing the harmony of the earth. You can feel love and energy coming from the sun, floating over all of the oceans on this beautiful. I'm aware of the deep, cool, refreshing energy of nature. For to live in harmony with nature means to observe and learn and to live in a way that things naturally occur. It means to trust in and live by the natural processes of the earth. when we connect with Mother Nature, Mother Gaia, and all of the animals and creatures on the planet, it helps to promote emotional stability, where it puts us in synchronization with the heartbeat of the earth.
we know that when we do that in nature, and into the wilderness, amongst the trees, the vibration of peace and energy that we feel is balanced, is beautiful. And we become aware of the feeling that there is no beginning, just as there is no ending. So I'm going to leave you here for just a few minutes so that you can tune into this beautiful energy. So that you can receive any messages that may be for you or just to let go of any stress, worry, that you no longer need. And that you can step into this place of love, peace and harmony. Today you have begun the journey of awareness, self-love and rejuvenation. So bring that vibration into your day and into your future. Love yourself is the important message. Self-love. This is the essence of the journey.
So it's time to come back to the here and the now. So remember, you can come back to this meditation, to this place that you have created at any time. So thank your amazing team for supporting you today and always. They are always with you. So take a breath. Gently wiggle your fingers, your toes. And when you are ready, slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Mm. Caroline, that was so strong. What a beautiful meditation. Thank you. Wow, I, I truly felt with Gaia beneath me and the spiritual divinity around me, it felt like a pillar of strength and energy behind me, almost as if I was standing up right behind a telephone pole or something, just <laughs> anchoring me right in. It just goes to show that core is there. We just need to, to tune into it, to tap into it. Right. It's always there. Always, always there. Yeah. Always there. Um, so, and that's sometimes the difficult thing, you know, realizing the spiritual side of us while we're living this human life. And so that, that, that they can in, mix together and intertwine. That's why we're here. Exactly. Well, and what support they are for us. Oh, yes. Oh, huge. And I also, I loved it when you said, we are now doing what we're designed to do, radiating love. That's beautiful. And what a reminder that really, that you know, you talked about self-love being the essence of the journey. I think part of the essence of the journey is radiating love for others as well so thank you yes but we need that self-love there in the first place because sometimes um some people get so busy doing it for everyone else that they forget about themselves mm -hmm. and so we need it the self-love and then we can radiate it out yes excellent beautiful thank you so much my pleasure my pleasure Caroline, would you take a minute and share with folks um, a little bit about your journey with the elementals? Because I always think that's so fascinating about you. And then also about the work that you're doing with Angel Heart Radio. Okay. So I just love working with the elementals. And I was so blessed when they came into my life. Because, you know, I always knew I had this, this connection in nature. And I... I perhaps didn't always have the words to know what it was and I knew when I walked out into my garden or sat by a pot plant I always knew that there it was more than just a plant it was more than just a leaf and so that's when I came in tune with the fairies and and the elves and all of the all of the elementals and when they came into my life it was it was like a whole new world had opened I've always had my spirit guides and teachers and the angels but it was like this was what I knew I'd always had I just didn't didn't have the, the perhaps the name for it or or the or the reasoning or dis description for it and then when um I met the um the uh, the dragons and the fact that the dragons are always here with us and they're not, they're not fierce dragons of, of bringing fear to what perhaps we knew in movies years ago, but our dragons are so gentle. And, and as you and I were talking about Ruth and the energy of the lion skate, and sometimes, sometimes it, feel, it felt to me to be heavy. And then as I was talking to Ruth before, my dragons just said, just ask us to blow the heaviness away. Friends, if you would like to learn more about Carol Ann Cross and her absolutely beautiful relationship with the elementals, please go to YouTube, Enlightened World Network, and type in 
Carol Ann Cross. We have all kinds of shows there where she's introducing the different elementals. Carol Ann can also be heard on Angel Heart Radio, coming to you from Australia, founded by Ania Joy Ho Lilly. Please check her out there. So friends, thank you so much for being here at Enlightened World Network. Take good care and God bless. We'll see you all soon. Bye now.